An attempt to recognize a patriot who fought in the War of 1812 has ignited a modern debate about race and military recognition. The man's grave is an unmarked area in Frederick in a Frederick Cemetery. The soldier was black. The Veterans Administration is denying a formal request for a marker. Scott Broom is in Maryland with the man still fighting on behalf of that soldier who died two centuries ago. All the evidence indicates that Samuel Neal started his life in Maryland as a slave. This is the Neal plot. Amateur historians like Lou Giles of the Society of the War of 1812 in Maryland are pretty sure Neal's buried here in a family plot in the St. John Cemetery in Frederick, near the graves of descendants. But this part of the plot is not marked. What we'd like to see here is a Veterans Administration tombstone for Samuel Neal for his service in the War of 1812. The War of 1812, that was the battle against the British after the American Revolution that included the burning of Washington, the attack on Fort McHenry in Baltimore, and the writing of the Star Spangled Banner. Neil is there defending the city. Giles has the documents, how Neil was on the ground, fully armed outside Washington and Baltimore. He was the aide to a Maryland militia surgeon who owned him, equipped as a soldier on the battlefield to care for the wounded. Sounds like what we would call these days a heroic combat medic, and yet, the Veterans Administration has sent a letter. Request for a simple gravestone acknowledging history denied. The VA says Neil did not have qualifying military service. Giles admits there was no rank, no military commission. There wasn't any such thing for enslaved people in 1812. But evidence that Neil served as an armed defender is overwhelming, according to Giles. Even though slavery was abolished after the Civil War, the effects of it continue to go on. To this day. To this day. On issues like this. On issues like this. Now, I say, can't say that the VA is purposely doing that or they realize they're doing that, they're doing that, but the effect of what they have done basically says a black serviceman in 1812 in Maryland cannot get a tombstone from them. Neil lived here in Frederick until 1872, and Giles believes he was freed sometime after the War of 1812. The state of Maryland even gave Neil a military pension just before his death back in the 1800s. The VA has not yet responded to my request for any additional statement. In Frederick, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.